basics of January Litro challenge. The problem that we have in today is maximum ice cream bars. And apologies, I'm pretty late today. I had lots of office work, and it I just wrapped up at nine o'clock. Then I had my dinner, and now in my, I'm again in front of my laptop solving this question. It's better to be late than never. Consistency is what we are looking for, and we will do anything to maintain that up. Without further talking, let's quickly move on to the question. The question is a medium level question on lead code, but I don't feel the same. The question says you are given n ice cream bars in the form of an array, and you're also given the total coins that you have or the total money that you can spend. What you need to do? You need to gather as many ice cream bars as you ca as you can against the money that you have. For example, here you are given uh, one, two, three, four, five, five ice cream bars. The cost of each ice cream bar is specified. Uh, the first one is of one dollar or one rupee. The second one is third three or the third one is two. The fourth one is four. The fifth one is one. The total money that you have is seven rupees or seven dollars. What you need to do? You need to identify in total how many maximum ice creams you can buy. So uh, the first one is this one, which has the least cost. The second one is this one. The third one is this one, and the fourth one is this one. In total, you can buy. Four ice creams, and this is what the question expects us to return. Uh, without further ado, let's quickly move on to the presentation section, and I'll explain the algorithm there and then itself. The question says you are given n ice creams in a form of an array, and each element in the array represents the price of that ice cream. You have total money with you, which in this case is seven units. What you need to do, you need to identify how many ice creams you can buy. So. Uh, since we need to maximize the number of ice cream count, we will be choosing those ice creams that have the least cost, so that we can save the maximum money for the remaining ice creams to buy to be bought. So, as per this principle, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sort this array up. So let's perform the sorting operation. We have one, one, two, three, followed by four, and now I'm gonna start consuming. My total money that I have, which in this case happens to be seven units, against these ice creams. So let's get started. Uh, let's go ahead and create a variable count or counter, and let's initialize it to zero. The first element that we have over here is one. I am gonna buy this ice cream up. So how much money is remaining to me? Seven minus one is six. So this gets updated to six. The count gets updated to one, and the pointer gets updated to over here. Now again, I'm gonna buy this ice cream up because this value is lower than six. So the count gets up, the uh, money gets updated to five, and the count gets updated to two, and this counter points over here now. Again, the price of this ice cream is lower than the total money that I have. I'm gonna buy this ice cream. So let's proceed ahead. Uh, the total remaining money that I have happens to be three. The counter gets updated to three. And now it points over here. The price of my current ice cream is three units. The total amount of money that I have is again three units. I can buy this ice cream up. So I'm gonna reduce the remaining money to zero because three minus three is zero. The counter gets incremented over here. In total, how many ice creams have we bought so far? It is four. So right now we are pointing over here. And again, we check: Can we buy this ice cream? The answer is no, because there is no money remaining to us, and we'll abort the process. In total, how many ice creams uh, do we have in our bucket? It is four, and this is what the question expects us to return. So the answer becomes four. Without further ado, let's quickly walk through the coding section. The time complexity of this approach is order of n log n because of the sorting operation that we have performed. And the space complexity is constant nine because we are not using anything extra over here. As I stated in the presentation, I'm gonna sort this array up. I have created a counter variable which is count. While my count is less than the total number of ice cream that I have, and my cost at the current counter variable is less than equal to the total money that I have, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna keep on buying those ice creams. So the price with each iteration gets updated to the for the remaining money gets updated to coins equals to coins minus cost of the current ice cream, and with each iteration we increment the count variable. Once we are out of the loop, we simply return the count variable, and let's try and sum it this up. 
accept it. I totally believe that this question is not a tough question. This is an easy question. Also, if you're interested in more questions of the greedy series, what do you need to do? You need to go to Coding Decoded channel page and you need to check out complete DSA preparation series. And over here, you will find the greedy playlist. So let's check that out. Uh, this is a greedy play playlist, guys. We have playlists for graph, tries, BFS traverser, DFS traverser, dynamic programming, stack, queues, heaps, two pointer maps, matrices, anything and everything that is needed to crack uh, uh, interviews from DSA perspective. So over to you guys. I hope you had a great time watching this up and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Your subscription truly means a lot to me and will keep me motivated. Thank you. See you tomorrow.